Hey YouTube, what I wanted to do real quick, I got a question about if the LX9 crank sensor will fit in the LZ9. What I'll do real quick is I've got the LX9 upside down here and I went ahead and measured uh, the gap between the sensor, it's going to be tough to see, but the sensor and the actual crank and it appears it's around, it's just a rough measurement, but it appears that it's around um, 37, uh, 37 thousandths of an inch. Um, I'm sure there's a spec on that from GM, um, but I just checked it really quick with a couple of, uh, with some feeler gauges here, 37 thousandths. I don't know, it might be a little bit more or a little bit less. What I wanted to do is get a baseline here on the LX9 with the LX9 crank sensor to see the distance between the sensor and the crank. I'll move this sensor over to the LZ9 and then we'll measure the distance and see if it's the same. So now that we have this one, let's bolt this into the LZ9 and see what we get. The old sensor comes off with a 10 millimeter socket. And here is the LX9 crank sensor in the LZ9. And it looks like the gap on the, with the LZ crank and the LX9 uh, sensor seems to be a bigger gap. Let me see if I can get a measurement on this to see where it roughly sits. So the gap with the LX9 sensor in the LZ block appears to be maybe around 60 thousandths of an inch gap. But one thing you'll notice is I don't think you're going to be able to use. So if you were to, if you were wanting to take an LX9, a car that had an LX9 originally, and put it an LZ9 engine in it. I don't think if you were just looking at the crank sensor compatibility, I don't think it's going to work. Um, you'll notice here. I mean, I, the gap appears to be much larger. Um, you know, the, this block is a different casting than the LX9 block. The gap here with the crank sensor is different. Not only that, but the teeth on the LZ crank. Are different than the teeth on the LX crank boy that's really let's see if I can focus there we go so you can see here that's what the LX crank looks like as far as the teeth go much different coming over here to the LZ you can kind of see where that one's at much different I don't think you're going to be able to run a factory computer that's designed for the LX pickup, crank signal pickup on the LZ9. So if you wanted to do a swap and just swap the crank sensor, I don't think it's going to work. You're probably going to have to swap the entire crank assembly over. But fortunately, the rods between the uh, LX9 and the LZ9, I believe are the same length, 5.9 inches, according to GM, which, you know, might not be 100% accurate. You're going to have to measure it. But GM states the rod length is 5.9, and the LZ is also 5.9. I, of course, measured mine at 5.827, and I've never measured an LX9 rod. So you probably won't be able to, it's probably not interchangeable. It's not an easy interchangeability. You might have to finagle some things. I hope that answers uh, your question as far as that goes. I, it's going to be a little bit more work than just swapping the crank sensor if you wanted to swap the engine. So thanks guys.